Hi guys, welcome back to S2100 Gaming again. Bring another Snow Break Containment Zone. So before we start the video, if you're enjoying the content in this channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. With your help, that would come into fruition. And we will talk finally about Marian and how good she is. I feel, in my opinion, she's one of the best support. Again, I'm gonna put quote in quote, okay? Sub DPS, okay? They're tell like sub DPS meaning substitute DPS because that's technically her role. He she substitute DPS while your main DPS is trying to bulk up their stacks, or she is the one bridging the gap whenever your attackers are a bit lull. So there's like a sleeping state. I call it a sleeping state wherein uh, the, the, the attacker, your main attacker doesn't do anything at the moment. So she bridges that gap. So she's the substitute DPS. She's the only character in your support because like usually you tag in as a support, right? You use your support and then they will cast their skills. So she, on the other hand, when you use her support, she will come out of the stage and she will shoot the stacks that you have, okay? So we're gonna be talking about how she goes or how do you use her in a practical sense. We're not technically gonna look, okay? I'm not here talking about not like stuff which is are like, okay, standard skill like this, like that. My suggestion is max this one, max her... Um, um, Usually, much better. If you want to make her a sub DPS, max everything your uh, neuronics. You need to max your neuronics so that you can get the maximum capability of her standard skill, her support skill, and her ult. Okay? Manifestation wise, I think manifestation 3 would be good. Going into 4, because like 4 would be your uh, increasing the predator skill level to. Uh, on the highest level, highest tier. But I think M3 would be good. M2 will be okay as well. Um, Weapon-wise, again, if you don't have resources, the game lets you give. The game gives you a 4-star weapon. You just need to exchange it with your tickets in the event, which is really good. Tier 5 would be much more beneficial for her so that look you can like see the damage with regards to the damage-dealing character on this one will be much more much better than having a tier 1 if you get the drift okay so again sub dps meaning substitute dps <laughs> this is sick guys this is sick uh, uh she's really good she bridges the gap vija agave is much more enjoyable playing vija agave kacha donwing is much more enjoyable playing as well i know she's very good fun to play but together with marian it makes le leagues and bounds much more enjoyable okay so look at the sirens melody here so after marian uses the support skill she remains on the field so she gets like tide song every one second also gains some tide song when other operatives use their standard skill up to once every 0.1 second so what will happen is every 25 tide, tide song converts to one tide song shell up to four shells this is your four very heavy ballistic shells okay very heavy strong ballistic shells so when she is at, ma at max, Tide Song shells or has a Kraken magazine. After using Siren's Melody, Marian immediately deploys onto the field, converting all Tide Song shells into equal number of Kraken shells and equipping her with Kraken magazine. Those four ones are called Kraken magazine. It's a Kraken. It's cracking. <laughs> uh, Siren's Melody can be used in uncontrollable state, dis uh, dispelling the state. So it's gonna be OP. The Kraken shells is gonna be OP. So, we're gonna be using the practical sense in a sense that she bridges the gap for your um, character. So, I'm gonna be giving you practical ways of using her, especially with Vidya Agave and um, Kacha Donwing. So, firstly, before we start, I just wanna give you the rotation, okay? So, what you need to do is use your Kacha Donwing. Plant all of your 12 crystals. I call it crystals, okay? Don't uh, don't quote me. I'll, I'll, I just call it crystals so it's easy. Plant the 12 crystals. Shoot. Because when you get those 100 Aurora Charge, those crystals will shoot at the enemy. 
and then if you have full neuronics on that standard skill it will only remove three so try to shoot until six remains on your crystal swap to marian it's automatically you have four stacks of the kraken bullets and from there on out she uses that one use her as a support she shoot, shoots four times then you swap over you don't use your standard skill you swap over katcha which is your main damage dealer rinse and repeat that's what you do if you see four stacks already or three stacks much better three stacks to four stacks swap you don't swap use the support skill of marian she goes out shoots four bullets then swap in again so that's how you use it same would be the same in vidya agave's term vidya agave you just use your standard skill until you, you can use your ult use the ult and swap back to marian send swap back again but if you want to stack your skills on vidya agave if she runs out of skills and you want to still continue stacking swap back to marian and then she will shoot and then come back again, get your standard skill and then stack on your skills. That's going to be what's going to be happening here. Uh, I'm going to be showing it to you now here. Going to the operate, like not here. We're going to go here. It's not going to be a great run, but I'm just going to show you how it goes, okay? So you can even use <laughs> Big Sis Enya here. But I just want to use... Acacia Kaguya because again you don't really need to think about Acacia Kaguya anymore you just cast it and she will shoot it okay it's all about playability and the smoothness of the transition of your characters and I think Kacha Klein, Donwing and Vidya Agave benefits with her the most okay so we'll start that one now with not Vidya yet we'll, uh, we'll use Donwing first okay so start 12 pylons shoot 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 until 6 swap and then tidal bullets. So it's gonna be quick. Uh, just gonna show you the proper mechanic. We did this one uh, on live stream. So try to do the twelve ones. Shoot. Okay. Avoid. Shoot. 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 Come on. <laughs> shoot. You can see when it's four swap, not swap support. Then four. Then swap back to Marian. Uh, swap back to Katcha. Then again shoot. Try to like at least six. Okay, swap. Almost four. Swap back. And shoot, 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 shoot. And then swap back again. Then you can use this one as well. Fairly easy. Fairly fairly simple to do. Okay, swap back. Bam, 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 bam. Swap again. Those kind of thing. Okay? So I hope you've seen how it goes on Katcha. Okay? It's very good. So, the lag time, because the problem is with Katcha, there's a lag time in between. Once she, she stacks, there's a lag time in between that. So, Marian Riptide bridges that gap so that it's a much smoother transition with your team, which is really good. She's re a really, really good support DPS. Or not sub DPS because she's subbing with your attacker and then she's shooting the four stacks, then swap back again to your main damage dealer. So, now we can use Vidya Agave now as... A practical sense i'm not gonna be talking about the skills this is all about her using the kraken bullets because the kraken bullets is her bread and butter you can use her also as an attacker but like i suggest she's much better as your substitute dps it's legitimately literally substitute dps she's substituting to bridge the gap for your main damage dealer which is really good so yeah now we can use this one as well so, again, Vidya Agave shoots and then, like, shoots like that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's roll. Let's avoid that. Boom, boom, boom. Roll again. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So, cast that ult. Or if you want to stack, you don't really need to cast that. You, you can stack it up to until 100. Then swap to Marian. Then shoot, 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 shoot. So, you, you know the drill. And then, like, that's it. And then shoot, 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 Gain that uh, again, ult again. Or if you don't want, again, you can stack to 100. It's all up to you. So now, three, boom, boom. You can shoot, shoot that one, swap it again. Okay? So I know it's not a good run, but I'm showing you how it goes. Okay? It's a very, very good transition on how to practically use Marian. And I feel like it, she's so fun to play. She's so fun to play together with your character. But again, you still need to get used to the swapping, okay? She doesn't swap. You use her support skill and then swap back to your main attacker. Support skill, Marian, swap back to your attacker. 
Support skill Marian swap back to your attacker. It's just like that. But if you want a damage dealer in a form of like her, I think it's good to have a skill haste because like she has this like clock. Uh, uh, she goes. She has this extra bullet that you can use. But like it takes a while to like uh return from the standard cooldown. But I feel like this is the best practical usage of Marian Swift. Uh, not Marian Swift, sorry. Marian Riptide. I'll be uh, talking about Marian Riptide as a damage dealer later on. But I feel like this is where she shines. This She bridges the gap for your skill-based character when they're having their lull moments. So I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe again. This is 2300 Gaming trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year, uh, this year. So please do support me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.